Hello, hello, Hero of Collectors here. How's it going, everybody? Hope you all are doing very well. It is now the Monday after SDCC, and I wanted to talk to you about all the Marvel Legends reveals, a few of the other toy reveals that were shown off that I'm interested in. I'm not going to talk about all the companies, because I don't collect all the toys from all the companies. So, uh, really quickly, before we get into the Marvel Legends, uh wanted to say that for Star Wars Black Series, there were no figures either revealed or, or pipelined that I'm really interested in. So I'm going to be skipping out on those. And then for Transformers, the only figure that I saw this weekend that was revealed that I'm interested in is the Dragon Megatron, which I think looks really cool. You know, he's a leader, so he's kind of... He's not expensive... He, it's kind of expensive, but it's the class price, so I might just wait to buy him, but it's one I do want, so. But, now getting into the Marvel Legends that were revealed. Uh, they started off the, what was it, Friday? Yeah, it was the Friday panel uh, by talking some MCU figures, and we have some Disney Plus figures. First off was the uh, classic Loki from the Loki TV show. This was a really surprising reveal. Uh, I was actually half tempted to get the vintage collection Loki because it had an older face. But I'm really glad I didn't because I very much prefer this newly sculpted, very specific Loki figure. So I'm happy to get that. And those magic effects look really good. So... Definitely want that figure. Here we have He Who Remains. He looks really good. Uh, I don't know if he has any other accessories. I don't see why he would. He didn't really have any in the show, but the figure looks really good. And it's definitely one I'm going to... I think I'm going to put up on my villain's display, especially eating that apple. So definitely going to pick him up. Here we have Howard the Duck and the Scott Lang head. The way that they talked about this, the Loki, the He Who Remains, and Howard are all going to be in the same wave, which is Disney Plus Wave 2 for this year. So, you know, we have yet to hear anything about what Build-A-Figure it is and anything like that. We just learned that these three figures are together. So here's Howard the Duck. He's not going to be super articulated, which is a shame, but I'm still happy to get the character. I'm going to put him right on my MCU hero shelf with my Guardians, so I think that would work perfect. And the Scott Lang head, it does have a dome. It doesn't have the dome in this image, so I'm going to figure out a way to stick him uh, in the cape that came with the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. This pack, I hope, comes with at least a few more accessories and the Build-A-Figure torso, because this isn't a lot, but still ones I want. And then there's the, kind of the, what is it, the final three episodes, or the final two episodes? Loki, with his sword, and he doesn't have the jacket, and he's got a flame effect, and he comes with the Tesseract, which was previously a... Uh, was it SDCC 2018 con exclusive with Red Skull? So I'm happy to see that return. Uh, very happy with this Loki too. I think I'm going to get this one. Mostly for the Tesseract, but that Loki figure does look pretty good. So it's a win-win. Yeah, I, I don't love the Loki figure, but it's, it's new enough for me to say, yeah, that's not bad and get it. And then they rolled right into some comic book figure reveals with the next Walgreens exclusive, which is the Sentry. Now, uh, I was actually listening to the panel live because people were live streaming it. And when they said what body this was, there were so many groans. And I was kind of upset at first too, but now looking at it, it looks like they redid or made a whole new upper torso for the Sentry. Which I think is really cool. And I think it fits better with the new torso and the other parts. 
Uh, the hair looks pretty decent. A lot of people are saying that they're not loving it. I think if it was out of the eyes more, I would love it a bit more. But otherwise, I'm fine with it. And it comes with this alternate void transformation head sculpt, which is cool. So it's definitely a pickup for me, even though I have the other Century. I think this one's going to go on my Marvel hero shelf, while my other one's going to stick with my Dark Avengers. And then they went into some vintage carded figures with this lab coat beast, which is something people have been wanting for a while. And personally, like I understand why people want it, but I personally don't need it. I have the previous beast that came in the Caliban wave, and I'm very happy with that. So I'm going to pass on this one, even though I know a lot of people were excited for this. It's just not for me. I don't need it. Spider-Man Retro, they revealed the Scorpion. Again, this is something that people have been asking for, but I personally just don't need it. I have the, what was it, Far From Home Wave Scorpion that came out, and I'm very happy with that one. I have no real nostalgia for the 90s cartoons, so this doesn't tempt me to get him, but I think it's still a cool figure. Happy for those that wanted it, but I'm going to take a pass. And then they got into some more villains, specifically... Spider-Man villains, here is the Human Fly, which is a character I've only seen in passing, like, in comic book pages. I have never actually read anything with him, but it's still a cool design, and it's it's a wacky character that I really enjoy, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get this figure. And then this figure uh, was uh, revealed, they had Robo come up to the stage and kind of check it out, but it's a character called Razorback, who I have never heard of before, and I don't even know if I really want this figure, like, no offense, but it's not a design I'm really liking, and even though it's a wacky character, I don't see myself ever displaying him, so I think, depending on what way he comes packed i'm going to try and skip him i got into revealing some symbiotes which finally we have the final two of the life foundation symbiotes here with agony and i'll get into riot in a second but agony is on the new shriek body which is awesome uh, i think those are some new feet new hair that might be a reused head from uh scream but no matter what this looks cool and here is Riot, who I don't love that he's on the Monster Venom body. I My mind's eye of Riot would be on the Caliban or the Omega Red body. But I think they're going off of, and I should have this edited in the video, I think they're going off of this artwork over here as opposed to the original artwork that I think the other three Life Foundation symbiotes were based on. So I would have preferred a smaller Riot, but I'll still take this. It's 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 good looking still. I like it. Moving on into Galactus. But here is the Heralds of Galactus 2-pack with Terax. And then the Fallen Herald, which is Galactus's very first Herald. A character I've never heard of before, but now I think it has a really cool design, especially that blue flaming hair. And then Terax, I missed out on the first time around. I was really hoping they'd go back and make a new body for him, or find an alternate body, but here we are still reusing the, uh, what's that, Absorbing Man parts. I don't love it, but I'm still happy to get this figure, because I doubt they're gonna, since they were releasing it like this, I doubt we're gonna get some kind of upgrade in the f near future, so... I'll take it, but I wish it would have been better. And then they announced a Spider-Man 3-pack with Spider-Man and his amazing friends. This set is an easy skip for me. Why? Because I have all three of these figures, and I don't need these upgrades. Yes, the upgrades on Firestar and Spider-Man are nice. Uh, Firestar's using the Shriek body, and then Spider-Man's using the Amazing Fantasy 15 body, or the uh, retro animated Spider-Man body. But I don't need him. 
you know, I'm happy with the ones I have, and this Iceman is on the pizza spidey mold, and I don't love that mold anymore. So, it's an easy pass for me, but I understand those that do want this set. And then wrapping up with uh, Friday's reveals, they announced there is going to be a HasLab based around Ghost Rider. It's both cool... It kind of sucks because I was really hoping they would do a HasLab that I could skip. Because they've done two HasLabs in a row. Plus I've had to get some Lego D to C's. So <laughs> I really don't want to keep buying really big items. And I love me some Ghost Rider. So this, I'm likely going to get whatever this is. I hope it's a Robbie Reyes car, but I was hoping it was something I could skip. I'm happy, but I'm also not so happy. And then Friday, they also did a live Q&A with Dwight Stahl, who gave us a little tease of the of some kind of gun. Uh, I haven't seen any real definitive answers as to who this is. Usually the internet finds all these kinds of images, but I've only seen one around, and that's of the Orb, the big eyeball guy from Marvel Comics, so... That would be cool. You know, I, I I wouldn't mind having an orb. That concludes the reveals from Friday. Now, we get into the reveals that just happened yesterday on some kind of unboxing talk stream. I don't know what it was. We finally, finally now know the last figure in the Disney Plus Infinite Ultron wave, and that is She-Hulk. And thank you, Hasbro. I was wanting She-Hulk. Uh, I've been really excited for the show. You know, despite a lot of people have been criticizing the CGI and everything, I've been really excited. And this figure looks fantastic. Double-jointed, pinless knees and elbows. She's got a cool costume. The head sculpt looks great. The shoes are fun. You know, like, this just looks like a fun... She-Hulk figure. And then they got into some Wakanda Forever Black Panther figures, and you'll notice that with the Friday reveals, I omitted, omitted two figures, and that, but I will get into those right now. So, uh, this is the Atuma Build-A-Figure, and here is Namor. He looks really good. Uh, I'm not... You know, I, I saw the trailer for the movie... I don't think I've ever seen this actor before in anything, so I'm still kind of in the dark about how this character will be in the movie, but I'm still excited. This looks like a great figure. I think I'm going to get it. And then here is Nakia in a brand new, very interesting costume with blues, the greens, the dark green. Looks... I won't, If I were to take a guess... I would say it's like a mixture of Wakandan and Atlantean technology. Just just shooting that out there, but it, it's I, I don't know for sure. And this just looks cool. So, I, cool figure, you know, I think I'm going to get this. And here is Okoye, who looks to be mostly reuse, I think. Uh, looks like brand new pinless arms, pinless legs. Uh... Okay, so then it's not mostly reused, but brand new arms and legs, probably a reused torso, uh, new um, digital face printing head, looks good, but I don't think I really need it, so I'm going to try and pass on this figure. And here is Everett Ross in a Legacy Collection labeled package. Uh, he looks really good here. I don't really need another Everett Ross, but... I think I'm going to get this one just because I can take my old Everett Ross, use that body for a kit bash, or just use that body to make another suited character. So I think I'm I'm comfortable buying this figure to help build a Tuma, but also I can use the previous Ross body for other things. Here we have the first of the two figures that I omitted from Friday's reveals, which is the Hatut. Zaraze? Zaraze? Uh, an army builder, I guess, former guards the Black Panther in the comics. This is cool, but I don't really need it. I'm not familiar with these char 
you know, these guards, these characters, uh, you know, I just, I don't have a connection to them, and I don't think I've ever read them in the comics at any point. I'm not a big Black Panther reader in general, but, you know, it, I don't have a place for them. So I think I'm going to pass. Here we have the brand new comic book Black Panther on the Vulcan body, who uh, I think looks really great. I really do. I think I, I'm i not loving the gloves and the boots. I think if the gloves and the boots matched more the product shot, or like the render that's on the packaging, if those match those, like that image better, I'd love it more. But I'm not, you know, it, I'll still be happy when I get the figure, but I would have liked a more blue tone to the gloves and boots but it's still a great figure i think it would replace my current black panther which is the retro carded one that's on the shelf so this is really cool i'm definitely wanting this figure and then here we have atuma from the mcu from kind of forever and this is really cool i like all the all the like tooth details that's all over this figure and apparently the mid torso like the the abs in at SDCC they have one of these figures on display and it's blue but here in all the promo images it's brown so i don't know which is which is true like which is the actual correct way we're going to be getting this so uh either way i don't have an issue with it i don't think like i think i would prefer if it was the full blue but this brown i don't hate either the design looks cool i think it's you know i think it works for the mcu but and this bath looks really great so i'm excited to get him i think that's all my thoughts on those and thank you all for watching this video i'm sorry if i did ramble looking at my recording it took me 20 minutes to record this so <laughs> Hopefully in editing, I cut that down a little bit, but I'm really glad you guys stuck around to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I should have a new Marvel Legends collection video up on Wednesday for you guys to check out. So hope you all subscribe and are excited for that video, and I will talk to you all in another video. Probably that one. So, peace.